But we're going to ignore that top one again because it's difficult, right? Uh, but now at uh, uh, the equation for S1 and S2, uh, we still have only two unknowns because it's the same M. It's supposed to be a different M every time. Then we've got unknowns, only two equations, the way it's solved it. But now we've got uh, only two unknowns. So uh, it, it's trivial to this solve for M by just, uh, uh, you take the two, uh, the, uh, the two formulas, subtract them, um, whatever, just a bit of formula manipulation. And then you solve M, and then you've got M, and you just fill it in, and then you solve for K. So we've, we've got a perfect key without, uh, without even having to know most of, uh, most of the curve parameters and anything. So th we actually used ECDSA in the Homebrew Channel's uh, network update function so that someone can't own your Wii through a man-in-the-middle attack or something. So this is how we do it, right? We do the EC math. You can see the M times EG, blah, 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 stuff there. And for M, we read cryptographically secure numbers from dev random on Linux. Uh, you know, that's what you're supposed to do and what Sony does as well. And, of course, as uh, Sekhar explained, if you use the same M, you can calculate K once you have two signatures. And if you have K, well, that's a private key. And with a private key, you can sign things. <laughs> so these signatures are every bit as valid as Sony's official signatures. They are indistinguishable. And we can, we can get keys for LV2, we can get keys for LV1, we can get keys for uh, revocation lists, we can get keys for uh, hypervisor configuration files, which is interesting, and packages and a whole bunch of stuff. So um, We actually don't have keys for level one because sorry, yeah. we can't run that loader because it has weird hardware stuff, so we still have to figure that out. Yeah, sorry. So, in fact, you can get the keys if you have the... Um, plain text for all the loaders, but right now Sony's security for the few loaders that uh, haven't been dumped yet hinges on just the AES stuff that we don't have and the per console key, but everything that you need to get these keys is, is inside a PS3, you just have to get it. So back to the table here, well, they botched the public key crypto, so that's a big fail. And we're left with user kernel mode and uh, on boot ROM, which are not exactly high-tech security features. So, pretty much botched the entire thing. So, thanks, Sony. <laughs> All right. So, thank you, Martin. All right, thank you. Coming soon. <laughs>